Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel, Platinum Bliss. Thank you for coming back and it's good to see you. Today I'll be finishing going through with you the lot of jewelry that I purchased at Goodwill for $25. Here is the jar, emptied. So I did empty everything out, and there were just a few broken pieces, which I won't be able to re-donate or use. So I thought that was really cool. I won't be tapping as much today because there's so much jewelry and I don't want to take too much time. I like to keep my videos between 20 and 30 minutes. The first items I'd like to share with you are the coins. I didn't realize how many people donate coins to Goodwill. Here's a commemorative um, memorial, commemorative coin. Um, it states the 2136 Combined Arms Battalion, Bearcats, King of the Hill. So it might be a troop of soldiers, I'm not sure, but it looks interesting. There's another one that says Minnesota Lima Honor Guard. Thought that was cool. This is a token coin from the casino, the mansion. Wrap your wish around a coin and gently set it free. This is a cool copper-colored coin. It says George Washington, President of the United States. Peace and friendship. So 1789 is when he became president, I believe. Must have been a anniversary. Here we have a Washington quarter pre-1964, so it might be all silver, I'm not sure. It's kind of cool. And then here we have some, I believe, Chinese and Filipino coins. I was really interested in these. Um, it says 20 centavos Filipino. So now I know the name of their coins. United States of America. So isn't that interesting? One side United States, the other uh, Filipino. Here are two more. One with a hole in it. They have some pretty flowers. And I'm, I don't speak Chinese, so I don't know what it says, but it's a, it's a hundred on one coin and a 50 on the other, the one with the hole. But I recognize the, the ones with holes are Chinese, I believe. Maybe good luck tokens, I'm not sure. Then we have a Estados Unidos Mexicanos, 50 centavos, 1969 coin, kinda cool. And there's another one of the Filipina and here we have a coin that looks like it has Queen Elizabeth on it and it's 10 pence so this must have come from England 1999 this coin 
It's another one of the, I think it's 1944, United States of America. And this one says Filipina, Filipinas, five centavos. So, interesting. I'd like to know the history on that. And then this one looks like it's real gold. I'm not sure if it is, but it's real shiny like it is. And it says 1975, and it's proof, Filipino. I mean, it's all packaged like it's real gold. And there's a uh, Akina. She was popular at one time, I think, in the 70s or 80s. I'm not sure. But there you have it. There's the coins. I thought that was cool. Next, I'd like to show the watches I I got in the jar, or I should say watch pieces. I'll be giving these to my sister because she likes to fiddle with watches and take the backs off, see if she can install new batteries. I'm going to see if she can find a way to open this one. I like that it has kickstands. Someone got a lot of wear out of this. Some stones missing, but it's beautiful. And then this one is a Mandu real leather band. I don't know if that's real gold watch, but it's pretty. And then I got a backing. And then a nice Seiko watch. I'd like to use that. Looks like there's a single diamond at the top of it. So it's a really nice watch. I'd like to use that, but I can't get the back off. Frustrating. And that's not just Goodwill watches. It's in any watch that I purchase, I just cannot get the back off. But I guess that's an issue I need to deal with. start with the jewelry. I believe these are a pair of absolute favorite. I just love these. I don't know what it is about them. It's a um, shimmery. They're just black sequins, but they're so light. And they just look like they'd be a lot of fun to wear. So, kind of look like fishtails, but it's, they're so pretty. I just really love them about two inches long. These are a little fancy for work, but they are so pretty. And they just glimmer as they as they bend and shake and shimmy. Dancing earrings. Real pretty. Very few earrings did I not get both. So that's nice. But that, those are just so pretty. pretty necklace. You can adjust the length of it. It's got pearls, of course imitation, and black stones. I love the sound. Here is beautiful necklace. It looks like to be wood um, beads. And then in the middle it has gold. I guess you would put a pendant on this section. So that's kind of cool. It's up to me how to wear that. And then I got just a little pocket cross. Really nice. These are some earrings. I got only the one piece, but they're they're pretty. Pearl and diamonds, of course, fake, but and I thought these were pretty. Maybe I can use them as pins or something. I don't know. I got some nice hoops. Silver. Thought those were really nice, kind of chunky. And that will be nice for wearing to work. Very professional looking. It's 
is a pretty choker. Looks to be imitation bone and wood. Looks pretty. I'm sorry if I'm going so fast, but too fast for you, but I just have so much to show you. big mass of just gold chains but and they're so soft and slinky I think it's a cobra chain but again it's not real gold but it's just pretty I don't know what I'll do with it I gotta think of something to do maybe make tassels or something which is kind of cool or anklets something these earrings are very light as well and they make absolute wonderful sounds as well oops matte gold black and gunmetal I guess it's gunmetal and matte gold Fun earrings, maybe for weekends, Saturday, going out. I'm not going to show you all of them, but this must have been a close a closeout at a store because I got four of these. Beautiful double chain necklaces. And, you know, tassels are so popular now, but. Anyway, these are brand new. These have never been worn. It's just so pretty. And then the second chain is longer. And it has the tassel. But it's just so nice. And there's four of them. And I like the little crystal. Point. Looks like rose quartz, but it's, I think it's imitation. So, and we have some black rose studs. They're kind of cute, and they're not tiny. They're a nice, good size. This is an interesting bracelet. I don't believe I'll wear this, but it's really not my style, and my wrist is a little bit big for it, but just all sorts of different glass, beads, resin, plastic, and then you have to fasten two lobster clasps in a really interesting way, and it would be really tight on my wrist, but they're fun, so I think I might cut this apart and make some other, another kind of jewelry with this, another piece of jewelry. Now, I got about 20 of, of something. I wanted to show you just one of them first because the others are all tangled. This is what I got. And again, these are new from here in Pixie Jijia Jewelry. Some, it must be a Chinese brand, but I just thought those were so cool. It has like an eyeglass with a lightning rod coming out of it. And that's what one looks like. But I got this many. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe resell on eBay or I don't know, give to friends who want something like that. It's kind of funky. <laughs> I thought this was a beautiful bracelet. I mean, it's not real pearl, but it's just, it looks very lustrous, like a real pearl. And it's very soft and smooth. And it fits me has the old-fashioned type clasp 
and let's see. Of course, on camera, I won't be able to get it to work, but it's very pretty. And of course, if this doesn't work and it breaks, I can always, I have more fasteners in my jewelry kits that I, when I make jewelry that I use. These are pretty earrings, very, I think very nice for professional wear as well. Black bottom circles, kind of with a rope design, with the gold at the top. And I got just pieces, two pieces of gold, um, links, and a tie tack back. So I'll, of course use those for something. I got some assorted beads. Gold beads, a black bead, crystals, plastic crystals. And then I thought this was such a cute earring. Unfortunately, I only got the one. But it's so cute. So cute. A little ball stud. I got this little dragon pendant for actually a bat for someone who likes bats. I got these crystal studs. They're not small either. They're pretty big size. Very nice. Shine bright like a diamond. No. Here are the three rings that I got at the bottom of the jar. This is a very pretty base metal ring, of course, but stone. And I don't know if it's plastic, resin, or, or genuine gemstone, but it's really pretty. I think it's plastic, but it's so pretty. I would wear that. Next one is a silver ring with bright, like neon blue stones. Let's try it on. Whoops, wrong size. There we go. It's really pretty too. And then I got a little Cracker Jack ring. No, <laughs> out of the gumball machine maybe, but just a little metal ring and it's not worth anything because it's open and it just cheap base metal. Then I found a bracelet that had been broken, but I love the beads. They're sparkly glass, like uh, Aurora Borealis glass um, with yellow plastic roses. So I'd like to recreate this in some fashion. It won't be exactly like it, but and here's the beads. It's all the beads that fell off of it, but I just thought that was so pretty. They're all sparkly. And ready to be remade into another masterpiece. Two barrettes. One was one of those clippy ones to hold back hair. It's a pink heart. And the other is a butterfly. There was only one on this card. A little tiny barrette. This necklace. It's a necklace, not a pendant. 
and it's made into the letter D. It's gold mat, and I'm thinking of giving this to my sister, whose name begins with D. I just thought that was so pretty. Sorry. So pretty. And it has a lobster claw clasp. So, and a little diamond. Well, glass diamond <laughs> at the uh, at the fastener. I thought this was cool. It's a huge, gigantic key pendant worn on a ball chain. So that's really neat. These next items is this, are bracelets. Beautiful Bengal bracelets. Really nice, heavy. And one of them is caught on this necklace, which has a beautiful um, centerpiece. And it has, um, I think it's, I'm not sure, fabric cord. I'm not sure what kind of cord, but I'm going to cut that off so I can take off the bangle and make a new necklace with this beautiful pendant. I thought these earrings were pretty. Imitation turquoise, kind of like chandelier, but it's really southwest with the little feathers on the bottom. And very light. I prefer the light earrings. Oh, and I have to tell you, I, I wore a pair of earrings that I got in the jar today to work. They were both missing when I got home. So that will teach me to put backings on those shepherd hooks, like this. They were like this. They were beautiful brown glass crystals. Live and learn. <laughs> Speaking of, well, pretty jewelry, but this is crazy jewelry. It's not even for work. It's not for where I would work, where I work. It's, it wouldn't be for, appropriate for that, but aren't these just wild? Feathers, leather cord, metal feathers, with real feathers, and it's just so cool. And it's really long, it's like eight inches long. The earring go down to my neck. I might, I'm thinking of hanging this in my, on my rear view mirror in my car. Here's a little feather that fell off. And once again, I, I think we, I showed these on the first video. I got about four or five of these, so I'll be sharing those because they're brand new as well. It says fashion jewelry on it, so I don't know what store that was meant for, but it's just beautiful orange and white crystal. Perfect for fall. These are fun and fancy. Beautiful hoops with dangling beads. I think they're black. I'm not sure. This one's missing the shepherd hook, but I can easily fix that. and Or make it into a necklace, a pendant for a necklace.
I thought this was interesting. It's like a chime. It's like a wind chime for outside. It has three fish, and it looks like it's, it's copper because it, it's, um, it turn, you know how copper turns green? So, but I only got one of those, so again, that could be a wonderful decoration for the rear view mirror. Neat. I like it. We have two of these beautiful earrings. Little balls, or discs, I should say, coin discs, which um, have silver foil inside of them. There's like smoky brown. They're like a smoky brown uh, glass. These are cute. These are two different colors, but I think they go together because I didn't see any others like these. These are more lavender drop earrings with beads. Lavender, and then this one is more pink, peachy pink color. So I thought that was cool. I don't know if the video will pick that up or not, but. Here we have two long snake chain earrings with a little diamond or crystal at the top, three in, maybe three inches. These are pretty hoops. They have crystals in the front and they have a different kind of shape, like a flame shape or something. These were pretty. These gold earrings have diamond cutting to reflect the light. Really pretty. And they also have a single diamond crystal at the top. Absolutely love these. They look European or Eastern to me, Mid Middle Eastern, I don't know, but it's just so pretty. They're like purple and white crystal. And this has a nice little gathering of tiny beads at the bottom. I just thought they were so pretty. A little heavy though. They are a little heavy. These are basic hoops, geometrical design. Pretty. Gold. This looks like it might be some kind of bracelet or something, or an extra piece of chain. This one didn't come with a match, but I just thought it was so pretty. So maybe I can do something with that. I'm not sure. Purple and pink crystals in the diamond shape. These are very pretty. These have hoops with a long, sharp metal piece going down. It looks like an artist made it, or very, very artsy. I'm not sure, but they're cool. For kids, 
Or who knows, maybe I'll even put it on a hat or something. Pumbaa from The Lion King. And I believe his friend the meerkat is there too. Dancing away. And this came from Disney because I can tell the fat, the tax, tie tax on the back are Disney, are Minnie, Mickey Mouse sh shape. This one also didn't have a, a companion, but I just thought it was pretty. So maybe a part of a pendant, a journey pendant or something like that for a necklace. Shiny, it's very shiny. I don't have a match for this, but I'm thinking that this, the other one is with the vid, it was shown in the first video and is in the other box with the others. Pretty pink. Some tiny little hoops, silver. And again, I love these spring back. These spring back fasteners are so easy to wear, put on and take off. So easy. And these won't fall off my ear during the work day. Hmm. This was a little whale. Looks like it might be a whale tie tack. The way it's made. I don't know. Money clip maybe? Although I don't know why you'd make a money clip with a whale on it. Maybe he's in the whaling business. I don't know. This was a beautiful bracelet. Looks like it's from Mexico. It says it says it's from Mexico. And I just love the sound of that as well. It's got black bars, kind of half like half a barrel shape. And then fancy border around the edge. Just thought that was really, really pretty. Okay. And then we have this necklace. It's so pretty. It's about 30 inches long. Oh dear, my first tangle. It was, it was untangled, but anyway, it's gonna be, it's just a beautiful station necklace that you will wear. It has crystals, glass crystals. So it's really nice and it's adjustable. So it could go to 36 inches, I'm thinking. With a fleur-de-lis symbol. I've gotten several of these type, very light. Chandelier earrings, but they're just metal, no stones. These are heart-shaped ones. I believe this one was shown in the first video. So this is the match. Here we have some wood dangle earrings, with some wood beads. Light and airy, just the way I like it. This is beautiful. Unfortunately, I only got one of them. It's green crystals dangle earring. So, looks like it might be going on a necklace. Here's some more of those um, dangly type earrings, like chandeliers, only without stones. These are silver.
Here's the other one. I like the sounds of those too. We're winding down now. Here we have two pairs, one pair of earrings. Again, that soft, airy type chandelier with white crystals. They make a different kind of sound. So anyway, there you have it. And, oh, I'm sorry, I have a few more. Real quickly, the silver and black earrings. These little crystals with lavender type beads in the middle of the ball. These gold hoops. These nice long purple purple crystal earrings and the drop is is clear and lastly a one earring that you could clip on a turtleneck collar or something like that that's pretty it's got pearls and crystals so there you have it that was my goodwill haul of jewelry I'd like to thank you for coming visit me. It's been a pleasure going through my jewelry with you. I hope you enjoyed looking at it. It's always fun to get a jar of something or a box of something and you don't know what's inside. It's like a little surprise. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time. So take care and we'll see you later. Bye bye.